Um, all right. So the, <laughs> Love you more. the number two. Um, what are we doing today, oh. Kyle? We are doing a, what's it called? A little cute little purse thing. Yeah, we're that calling it. I've wanted it, to do forever. We're calling it the click it bag. So we're gonna, I'm oh, so happy to have instructions. <laughs> good, good, I good, am. good. These have been around forever. Forever. You see them all over the place. I just haven't made it. And there's lots of different ways of doing it. Lots of different directions. And I put the together the, idea. the way that I like to do them the easiest. And so these are, some people call them like snap bags, snappy bags. We call them click it bags. There's Finish no zipper. This is five by five. Yeah, no zipper. Um, and you pull the tabs. Click, yeah. click, click. It's the wide mouth frog, Kyle. I love the wide mouth frog. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? Really cute. I love and the teacups. You can make this in any size. That's true. Any size you can make. And um, today we're going to show you, and we have directions for you on making the five by five size. So, have you guys done these before? That is done. What's inside? Can you hear that? is a tape measure. Ooh, don't take your new one. No, Mike. You know those like, that don't come back in. <laughs> Mike was like, did you take my tape measure? I said, no, I went to the dollar store. Thank you very much. That's at a dollar <laughs> store? Yeah. Are you sure, Chris? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Kyle. No. <laughs> She would never pretend. I would never. Uh-uh. So, or you can go to like Walmart and pick up for a couple bucks. I mean, well, you can go out in the in the garage and pick up your husband's. That's there we go. No longer in use. Oh, the I'll, seven. Guys, some of you have never seen these before. They haven't. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited to show you this because it's the easiest, cutest, sweetest little bag. Mm -hmm. And these will make Stays great. Closed. It, they do stay closed, and you pull in the tabs and they open. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it's now the dollar 25 store Did oh yes you know that? that's right that's right, that's right. <laughs> so um and again you can make them any size and they're so fun and only you only need one of these <laughs> and you can make oodles of them oodles all right until your husband finds out you took it that's why you go buy a new one. Oh, yeah okay okay, okay. All right. So. My husband has like 17. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this week we're talking all about scraps and what to do with your scraps. So when I was trying to think of what's something Don't that you just put them in a big box small and someday. And this is one of those some days. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. And also, you could use, can you use a charm pack? How big did no, you say that was? You, you couldn't use a charm pack on this. It actually has to, it starts out longer. Oh, that's because right. Because you that's fold right. it in half. So, okay. We ready to show them how it's done, mm -hmm, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need two square pieces. Okay. All the measurements, everything are found in your pattern. Two square measurements, uh, two square pieces, I should say, that Kyle's going to show you how to fold and fold again so that we make little prairie points for the pieces to pull out okay so let's go ahead and do the that the cool first. thing about the prairie points is that there's no raw edge showing exactly yep okay Kyle. okay look at i got my two squares and how big did you say they were these are these ones end up being three and a half by three and a half yep three and a half okay so i'm going to put it right side down i'm going to fold in a triangle and we could iron. Did I not turn? Oh, you're going to bring it over? I'm just going to bring this over. Okay. Good job. Oh, yeah. We got cords. Okay. So I'm going to fold it in a triangle, wrong sides together. Mm -hmm. And they're mostly right on. I'm just going to do a little press there. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go like that. See, all your raw edges are on one side. Yep. You see that? So it's kind of very similar to if we were making single prairie points, mm -hmm. this is what you would do. Yep. I'm just going to hurry up and do both of them. No, that's great. Whoops. Not that fast. Okay. I'm trying to mostly keep the things all lined up, but there are no raw edges, only on one side. 
which is going to be covered up here in just yep, a minute. They go right? in your seam. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Let me grab my iron over here. Okay. So Kyle has these two pieces um, now put together. They look mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to set these aside and get the next part of this prepared. So what this I is have so here, stinking simple. It really is. I cannot believe it. So I went to my stash and I got um, some of my fabric that I want for the outside. And I cut a, the same size as the batting. It's a very thin batting. It is, is that the Kimberbell? Um, I had, this is the Kimberbell Project batting, which I love and adore. Uh, this ends up being five and a half by eight and a half inches. Now, this is my outside. Hmm. My lining is going to be this piece right here. It's cool. the same width, but it's actually four inches longer. Okay, so whatever this size is, and so this is this is good to know because you can do whatever size you want. Just with this. the length is bigger. This the exactly width is... the width is the same. Okay. The length you always for the lining has to be four inches longer all right and you'll see why here in just a minute so what i'm going to do is put the right side facing down and i'm going to fold over each end by a quarter inch and press so let me pull my mat over here once more and you're just going to eyeball this it's not too mm -hmm. we we all have been doing quarter inches long enough that mm -hmm. We definitely can eyeball it, right, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So about a quarter inch, approximately. It's not exact. It's okay. So we're not into science. Yep. Here we go. Okay. So now what we'll do is that this is my lining, and it is, again, wrong side facing up. I'm going to, my batting goes down next, right in the middle. So you're centering that. Uh-huh. And you want, if I were to open that up again, you want two inches beyond this center batting okay. piece. All right. So I could take a ruler. If you had a tape measure. Oh, if I had a tape measure. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> I could also see if this is correct. Oh, that's pretty spot on. You're like a genius. Oh my goodness. That was like amazing. If you need to tweak it a little bit, you can. But what's important is that you have two inches on this side, two inches on this side. Then That's including all the way to the end. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I'm going to take my outside piece and put it on top with the right side facing up. Okay. All right. Just like that. Okay. Now at this point is when we're going to put in our little tabs. So remember how Kyle mentioned that there's a raw edge right here? We're going to place that raw edge right up against here, and it's going to be centered between this, uh, this point to this point. And we could place a pin in there if we want, but yeah. actually, Kyle, there's something uh, else that I like even better. <laughs> you me. You just blows my mind. A glue stick. Yep, that's an Elmer's glue stick, folks. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. And I chose purple so you can really see it right mm -hmm. there. And I'm just placing that right there in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to take my iron and just hold that for just a minute so that it dries. Okay. The reason why I like doing this is because I don't have to mess with pins on this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we place a pin through all those layers, yeah. things it's a can screwy. Yep, exactly. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And it's right on your raw edge. Yep. It's just to kind of it's just to temporarily hold it in place. All right. That's all. And you centered this one. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Now that those are held in place, I'm going to do the same thing. Remember when I folded this over mm -hmm. by a quarter inch? I'm going to take my glue stick and do the same thing here. I'm just running a little dab of glue just on that seam. <gasps> and now, ah. watch carefully, I'm going to bring it over the top just enough to cover 
this raw edge. Now this raw edge will match up. Will match up with that raw edge. Nice. So what I've done here is I've created a casing, and I'm going to um, put an iron to that just to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. See? Ah, no pins. I love the colors. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Right on your folded over edge. Yep. And I'm going to bring this over and just line it up against... Just cover, just barely covering mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, give it a little finger press and then press it with my iron, which is going to dry the glue very quickly. Mm -hmm. Look how easy that was. That's amazing. Okay, so now everything's in place. Now I'm going to actually, Kyle, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you do a, a top stitch all the way down right here. Okay. So again, we've created a casing. You can see that this is like a tube. This is an opening because this is where our tape measure is going to go. So she's going to top stitch all the way down on both <clears throat> sides. Okay. And while she does that, I'll answer some questions. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. So she's getting that. Um, oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Marianne said she went to a shop hop in the nuts and the nuts and bolts. It's also a hardware store. I, I know that store. Um, someone brought in a Stanley tape measure to see if it was under warranty. It wasn't. My husband asked if he could have it. I trained him well. <laughs> That's awesome, Marianne. I love it. And then, um, oh, Joanne. <laughs> I knew I should have saved that broken tape measure just uh -huh. when you thought you didn't need to save it. <laughs> there you go. You guys, seriously, this is the most fun project. You're going to want to make oodles of them. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's a perfect time. If you want to make a bunch of these for Easter, well, wouldn't that be better? Um, you could put all sorts of little goodies and stuff in mm -hmm. it. So very, very fun. Um Jerry said before she retired, she asked the maintenance guys if they had any old measuring tapes. They brought me three. Nice. Really nice. For sure. So, yeah. There we go. It's You got to have the metal tape measure. All right? Yeah, no fabric. So, now, here's the next thing while she's doing this. Um, you are going to cut your tape measure in two, two pieces, okay? What it, however wide your um, pieces, nice job, my Thanks. friends. Look at that. See how she just top stitched that? So no matter, uh, whatever width this ends up being, um, this was, again, the width was five and a half inches. Listen to this part. Okay. You're going to cut your tape measure one inch smaller. All right, so you're gonna cut it to be four and a half inches. So I'm, I'll do that right now. And you wanna use a pair of scissors <laughs> that are your paper scissors, folks, just saying. <laughs> you wanna use paper scissors, not your nice quilting scissors. Okay, and these are my paper scissors. So one, two, three, four and a half. I'll just cut it right there. See? Hey, Easy. that was slick. Yeah. And then there's my half, one. Because you need to cut two, two of these. three, four. You need to cut two. All right. So there we go. Cut that a little bit more. Okay. Now, the next thing that's important, so you have two of these, is that you're going to take a little piece of electrical tape. All right. Um, or, you know, even if you don't have electrical tape, even masking tape will be fine. But this I'm going to use on the ends just to cover them up because that can get actually really sharp. And it will eventually, it could cut through your fabric, which you don't want that to happen, right? So you're only putting one piece on? Yeah, that's it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So just a little piece of electrical tape on both ends. There we go. Okay, just like that. And we'll do one more on this side. 
In fact, you know what would be really fun, Kyle, is if you wanted to do a whole bunch of these, mm -hmm. just like, just take your tape measure, hurry and just cut them all into pieces. Oh, yeah. Then tape them up and then you just put them in a little jar. You have them ready oh, to go. that's a good idea. Whenever you want. What a cute little gift okay. for my grandkids to give each other. Oh, their friends. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, I'm going to put a little piece you of tape. You could put a monogram on that. On the end. Oh, you definitely could. This would be a great thing to embroider. Oh, when you're done cutting so yeah. nobody gets cut by that. Yeah. Good Just idea. Safety. Safety, safety first. first. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> Whoa, that thing like grew 10 leaps. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. Okay. You couldn't see, but it actually like came. Woo -woo. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We have these, right? So next very important part. We have part. this. this. Which is, is your nothing. outside? My outside piece is this, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what we're going to do is we need to insert this into the casing. There is a rounded edge. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's curved. It's curved. Con con no, convex? Con Con convex. What is it? Convex or concave is concave in. Concave is in. Convex. Yeah. Convex. <laughs> Look at you go. All right. So yeah, don't let the true. Don't let the lock go back into the tape measure. That's no, why you'll I lose say it. just do it. You'll lose it. Put a little piece of cut tape. it all the way off. Yeah. Just, yeah. Cut it all the way. All off. right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this in, and the outside of that curve. Don't yeah. Concave me. and convex. Don't tell me. What? Did I get it too small? No, we can we can work this through. Hold on. Let me do it without being up. There you go. There oh, go. that's all See? that was. Yeah, that's it. But you put it, it all the way in because it. it's a in one inch smaller? It's one inch smaller, which gives you a half inch on each side. Okay, so that's okay. in that side. Because you don't want to sew through that. No. <laughs> and you're putting a that would not be part good. on the outside again. Mm-hmm. Curved on the outside again. Okay, that's it, you guys. Nah. This is so easy. Now that that's done, I'm simply going to fold it in half with right, right sides side. together. Nice. And go zoop and zoop, and it's done. Look that, at, even that's cute. I know. Out, the, that my darling? lining's really cute. Okay, Kyle. So what I want you to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Pull on this down so it's nice and taut. Right. Now, do you start at the top so they they are matching? Um, you, either way. I. It doesn't. Yeah, probably, you know what? Mm -hmm. If you want to be sure that it matches at the top, mm -hmm. I would start at the top. So start at the top. Definitely do a back stitch. Okay. Do your quarter inch all the way down and, and do a back again. stitch there. Okay. okay. So Kyle's going to do that on both sides. Does, does that make sense to everyone? Are we making that clear? I gotta make this so see, it was faster. like this, and we're just folding it in half. That's it. Because your curves on the outside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So go okay. for it, Miss Kyle, and Ooh. I'll answer questions. Okay. Um, yeah, you could cut the ends rounded. Yes, Jamie. But I would definitely still use some tape. Duct tape, masking tape, electrical tape. Any oh, one yeah. of those, okay, would be fine. Debbie is asking if it can be surged. Yes. The only thing that if you're going to surge it, you want to definitely, you may want to cut your tape measure even a little bit shorter. You just don't want to take any chances mm -hmm. of it going over the tape measure. Now, you have a half inch to work with. You should be okay. But, yes, you can definitely surge it. Um, Kathy said it would be nice to have a French seam. Again, yeah. you could do it, but you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room there. Um, but it definitely could be done. You, uh, if you're going to do a French seam, you're going to put wrong sides together first. Sew an eighth of an inch seam, turn it out, then do right sides together, do a quarter inch seam, and then you, you don't have anything opening, uh, any edges showing, I should say. Okay. Um... Do, do, do. Yeah, Linda likes to do the French scene. Yeah, you definitely can. You definitely can. So, um, yeah, just don't throw anything out for sure. Brenda said, 
she would triple stitch or overlock the edges. Yes, you could do that too. In fact, on these ones that I did, I sewed the seam and then I did a zigzag stitch over top of it. Okay, just for added measure. Um, and yes, the raw edges show on those seams, but it really, I don't think it's that big of a deal, right? No, no. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That is it. I'm going to just take some scissors and just do a little cut out of the bottom Okay, corner. I got a question. Yeah. I see a lot of times where you could take your pinking shears. Yep, you could do pinking shears as well. And so see how Kyle did the straight stitch? You could go back and do a zigzag stitch if you wanted. You could do a serger stitch. I mean, there's lots of things you could do here, right? And let's see. What do we look for? I am looking for the R and K tool. Probably in the drawer. Hmm. Yeah. Yay! What do you know? <laughs> here we go. Can't live without it. No. I'm going to use my RK tool. This is one of those bags that is just so simple, fast, easy. It would be so good to do for Easter. But I just didn't want to. I mean, yes, you could do the French seam, you could do the serge seams, you could do all of that. But then again, you don't have to. And it's still just as cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to trim your Darling. Thread. Let's give it one final press here. Okay. This size ends up being a five by five. But um, I've seen these where people will do them like longer <laughs> and can. a little bit smaller so that like for sunglasses, that would be cute. Um, you really want that sunshine, aren't you, Chris? Yeah, <laughs> I sure am. Okay. There we go. Cute. That's it, you guys. That's as easy as it is. Hmm. Isn't that fun? You will enjoy this project so much that you'll make oodles of them. And you'll make them for friends and you'll make them in all different sizes. Click. Nice. That's why we call it the click it bag. Cute. All right. There it is. Way to go. This would be good, like even um, if you wanted like a little case for your ear pods or oh yeah, um, you could make it long and narrow for pencils or something. Yes, a little pencil pouch. I mean, there's just so many fun possibilities with this. And I like look. the fact that you have these to pull on rather than click them from the edges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cute. So again, so many different sizes out there. So many different variations of how to do them. Mm -hmm. um, I almost thought, I don't even know if I dared like just do a pattern because there's so many tutorials out there. However, I'm unplugging the iron. We do so have a pattern for you because I know that sometimes it's just so much easier to have things written in instruction. Oh, do you know that? That's why I've never done one because I didn't have instructions. Well, there you go. Got it. Now you're so done, right? Um, oh, I love that idea, Colette. She said you could put a gift card oh, in Oh, that's a good bag. idea. You could. Chris, I would love that. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let's see. Where to? My girlfriend's quilt well, shop. Oh, yeah, of course. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Yay, Deanna says it's new to her. I'm so glad. Nice. Um, Annette said, oh, my gosh, I love, love, love that. And I'm going to make some right now. Well, when three at three is over. <laughs> Could you make me like three? I love you, Annette. There you go. <laughs> she has, how many grandkids do you oh, have? Four. four. Yeah. Two girls, two boys. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Marion said she's going to make a couple of these and go in her suitcase when she travels. Good I idea. love that. Good idea. And said her friend gave her some to keep her flash drives in. That's a great idea. Genius. I'm always trying to figure out where I to know. put my flash drives. You know what else would be good in this? I just thought of something else. You could use this candy, <laughs> candy. There you go. If you wanted to make a little binding um, clip, kit. yeah. So you could put your binding clips in there, a spool of thread, your needle. So That's if you're going to go idea. somewhere and you need all your all the things, a little pair of scissors to bind it. That's a good idea. Now let me share with you something else. And I did this 
fa fabric on purpose. If you want it to be the same on both sides, then you're going to choose a non-directional fabric. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can see this is directional. That's really cute. So on the back, they're upside down. It's because it goes like this, right? So just you, know. You could put a seam. You could put a seam. Yep. You definitely could put a seam. Why? Right. Um, but I'm totally fine with that. That's mm -hmm. not a big mm -hmm. deal. So we designed it that way. Exactly. This would be cute with like a Starbucks gift card inside. Yes. That's what I'll get you. <laughs> yes. There we go. So really, really fun, right? Uh, Pamela asks if you could make them with mesh or pet screen. Yes, I bet you could. Mm -hmm. I'd, do, I'd yeah. do mesh down yeah. here and you could do still. Yeah, I would do fabric mm -hmm. up here. Be mesh darted. down there. That's a great idea. Yes. I like pictures. that, Pamela. Definitely. Post pictures. Definitely. Um, boy prints for collectible cards. That's a fun idea, <sighs> Betty Jo. Um, Barb Pasternak said it's easier version than what she made before. I agree. I, like I said, these have been around for a long, long time, mm -hmm. but there's so many different variations of how to do it. And this is the variation that just like seem to make the most sense to me. People like, told me, logically. oh, it'll, it'll cut you. It'll wear out the fabric. That is why I love this. I'm mm -hmm. not pushing on that electrical mm -mm. tape on the ends. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I made my first one a while ago, they didn't have these little taps. And so you would have to push. Yeah. Right. But which is okay, mm -hmm. but it's these tabs that make it just so much easier. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Marcia said you could use vinyl for see-through. That's a great idea. I love these people. We've got to have some fun. We need to sew, Kyle. Please. We need please. to sew. Do you know we how many kits I bought lately? <laughs> and I've been on strike with kids. There you go. <laughs> Are you? Charlotte's attached a D-ring when she made hers. Excellent idea. You could add it to a oh, keychain yeah. really easily or put it in uh, add it to your purse that's right These um, are geniuses. oh my goodness someone said uh like doggy doo-doo bags <laughs> nope i'm out <laughs> or dog well no 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 that they they put the plastic bag oh, i know not I the doo-doo i'm out i'm not <laughs> walking a dog <laughs> i'm an animal lover kyle, far away kyle there you go um <laughs> <laughs> Lynn says the tabs make it cuter yeah. too. I like that. I do too. A tissue holder for your purse. Good idea. Yeah. No, Alice, you don't need to stitch your triangles closed. Nope. Mm -mm. How wide does the tape measure work? That's a really good question, Donna, because there I'm are so different glad, sizes. Yes, there are different widths, right? The one that I have found to I like the most. You with put this it on there, didn't one you? It's a three quarter inch, and I put it on the pattern. Yeah, mm -hmm. so three fourths. If you inch did it wide. longer, wider, you'd have to make your casing wider. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Make your lining bigger, yeah. longer, even longer, right? Lining. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You're, Thank you. You're, what, yes. Whatever your lining is going to be is always going to be four inches larger. Now, obviously, if you use, if you use a three fourths inch, right? You could use a wider one, mm -hmm. and then you just got to make sure that you have enough yeah. for your casing, right? Because mm -hmm. we're not cutting down that that uh, I tape know. measure. Brenda said, "If only you worked in a place where you're so you had sewing machines, so you could sew." I know it's really hard. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we keep saying we're going to have a sewing day. I know. One of these days we are. Someday. We, we, some Someday. <laughs> In our dreams. <laughs> there you go. That would be so much fun. All right, guys. So lots of great ideas are coming yeah. out of this. I Thank need you so much for sharing. Yeah, for sure. Um, can you make, Kathy's asking, can you make a 12-inch wide purse? How wide before the metal tape misbehaves? I don't know. That's a good question, Kathy. If you if you're still using the tabs, you don't would you want to make your tabs bigger? It's an experiment. Go ahead. I I would experiment with it. Yeah, before it misbehaves. I mean, if you're using a tape measure that's already not working, because who, who would buy a brand new one? <laughs> and you're gonna use Me, your scraps. Dollar store. <laughs> and you're gonna use your scraps. Mm -hmm. So it's a new adventure. 
exactly. I don't know. So that's a really good question, Kathy. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I would you, not but make a great I would, big I would over play, your shoulder. I would play around with it and see. 12 inches. Because you know, you know when you get a tape bend, you get a long way and then it goes bloop. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's why, yeah, good point about like how before it misbehaves, right? Mm -hmm. Like bad tape measure. Okay. <laughs> My arms are tired. My arms are tired. Finish measuring. <laughs> there you go. All right, everyone. I hope we've inspired you to try something new or to revisit something that you haven't now done have for a long time. Now I have to make bunny pillows for Easter, and now I have to make these. Yeah. I got to go home. You've, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry, don't your tell kids my daughter. are not going to be done. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. you you got to find a way to sneak into your house mm -hmm. in the back without her seeing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, she does Life 360, so she oh, knows Oh, she knows. Where I am. She knows where you are. Turn it off. Turn it off. All right, everyone. We've done theme number one and theme number two. It's time for theme number three.